Have you ever wondered how much water your in-ground sprinklers are actually using? Depending on how your sprinkler system is set up, you might actually be able to measure it. You'll see two valves here. The one on the right was original to the house, just a regular hose spigot. The one on the left goes down, there's the valve right there, and then goes into the ground into the control boxes there. So all you have to do is connect one to the other. You may already have something to do that. This is a plain old washing machine fill hose and it has exactly the connections that we need. You also are going to need a meter. Now you have a meter on your house most likely for your water usage but that generally measures in cubic feet. Now if you want to go and convert it you can do that but there's a little handy device you can buy for under 20 bucks that will do this for you and give you the exact number of gallons. And here is one right here. I'm going to put a link in the video description for where you can find this on Amazon. This is under 20 bucks. Screws onto the hose and gives you exactly what you had before. So let's go ahead and hook this up and I'll show you how to do it. Now rather than undo the connection you already have for your garden hose, and it doesn't matter if it's right next to it or not because your garden hose is likely long enough to reach where this is, just hook it to the end of the garden hose. So just connect your meter up to the end of your garden hose, and then this is the washing machine hose, and the other end of it is going to connect in right over there. This will work provided you have a water shutoff inside your house, so let's go do that first. So that's right here. We'll just go ahead and shut that off. And now we can't have water from here go in. Instead, it's going to go through the outdoor spigot, through the meter, and sort of backfeed the system, if you will. It's just getting its water from a different source, is all. And now all you do is just go ahead and turn on both valves, like that, and then go ahead and set your sprinkler system to run a full cycle or you can just wait till it does it itself so on my system it's easy enough you just press manual it says all we press enter and it goes ahead goes ahead and starts and there you go right there the water meter is going like I said it goes in cubic feet if you want to convert it you can but this little gallon meter that goes to the end of the hose is really convenient for a lot of things Maybe you have a, a pool, whether it's in ground or above ground, and you want to add water to it, and you're just curious how much water goes in there, well, just put that on the end of the hose, turn the hose on, and you're good to go. So I'm going to now leave my sprinkler system to run its entire cycle, and when it's done, I'll come back and we'll see what the final result is. So you can see my sprinklers are now on, and I'll come back when the whole cycle is over. Oh, the numbers are in. 459.9, 460 gallons to water my lawn. That's doing six zones at 25 minutes a piece. Your mileage is going to vary, but otherwise I never would have known that I'm dumping almost 500 gallons of water on my lawn every other day. So, might be worth a few bucks to pick up one of these meters to figure out how much water you're actually using and then you can adjust your sprinkler timer um, you know better to uh, maybe you can do a bit less and still end up with a green lawn so thank you very much for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye